Hmm. Celtics got blown out at Milwaukee, where the Bucs had lost four in a row, lost Giannis during the third quarter. Then last night, the Celtics got blown out at home by the Knicks. But Celtics head coach Joe Mazzulla didn't mind it at all. Check this out. I actually don't mind uh, the result of the last two games because I think that's important. Like, um, you know, going in with a bunch of wins and feeling good about yourself isn't uh, any better than, um, you know, having a little bit of a bloody lip. Hmm. Bloody lip. Okay. I agree. So, I agree. Celtics have clinched. They have nothing to play for except pride and maintaining some momentum. But, Paul, <laughs> doesn't this concern you even a teeny tiny bit? Teeny s- tiny bit? Like a 0.1% bit? All right, 0.1%. All right. I'll give you that. <laughs> I mean, how could they be motivated? Listen, mission accomplished. Part A, win the regular season, get the best record, home court throughout the playoffs. These meaningless games, I was shocked that they even played last night. But I get that it. That the starters played. Yeah, I played yeah. that the starters yeah. played last night. But I get it. When I look at down the line, next week, they're going to have a week off. So it's like if you don't play them today, which was Thursday, and then you don't play them again or on Sunday, that will be like almost 10 days of, of, would be. of, of being off. Yep. So just to get them out there, getting up and down the court to keep them sharp, Obviously, they're not playing for anything at stake. But on the flip side, oh, it'll be tragic if somebody got hurt. Just I'm talking about as little as just a jam toe or a, yep. a sprained ankle. So there's a fine line because I can see both sides. Coach, like, I want to keep them sharp. I want to keep them running. Yep. And on the flip side, you don't want nobody to get hurt. But then you look like, oh, we're going to have a whole week off next week anyway. So... Is there any concern? No, because like I said, mission one accomplished. We got the best record throughout uh, the playoffs. And, and now, I, what I would say, I would be concerned if this happened in a playoff game. Yeah. Oh, wow, we lost by 20, 30 points, 29 points. Yeah, it's just hard for them to get motivated now because it's like these are meaningless games for them. And, you know, you don't want that to creep in, uh, the spirit of competition to creep in and say, oh, it means nothing. But sometimes that's human nature, Skip. And mm-hmm. we all know that. You're like, let's just get ready for the playoffs. Listen, your mind is already in the playoffs. You know, and I've been in this situation before where, you know, usually you'll sit the last couple of games, but when your mind is already set on the playoffs, when this game doesn't matter if you win or lose, that's why I have no concern. Okay. None uh, for I you either? Do, uh, no, I could do is shake my head at Paul, because Paul know better than this. Mm. First of all, you don't play the starters. And if yeah. you play them, you stagger them. They shouldn't be playing 25 plus minutes. Then on the flip side of things, as you know, Paul, okay, it doesn't matter. You're 15 games up, 14, 15 games up, doesn't matter. You're number one seed, you're chilling, no problem at all. But that has nothing to do with going one for seven for three, you know, one for four from three. That it just, that has nothing. What do you just go catch the ball? Just, you're not really trying. You you say you want to stay sharp. Yeah. If you if you want to stay sharp, you shouldn't be shooting uh, 38% from three. If you want to stay sharp, mm. that, that that's how it's I look at motivation. it. Motivation. It's like yeah, but if you out on the court and your craft is, mm-hmm. I'm gonna knock down this three. You're not gonna go one for seven. Mm. You're not gonna go one for five. Oh for three. One all, for like, four. Like, if you're just not all into it, mm. like. I mean, I wasn't like that. If you're just not all into it, they probably so that woke up. Should, Let me so... tell you what they probably did. They probably woke up thinking, like, we probably not going to play tonight. And then when they're like, oh, we need y'all to suit up the starters. We need, Let's play. We're going to turn this into a glorified practice. You know, and that's what you like to call it because it's like, all right, we're going to see, run through some plays and see if some of these work. But we're going to look at this like a glorified practice. And I'm sure... What's on the back of the player's mind is, I don't want to get hurt today. Mm. So you got the Knicks that just... I don't want to get hurt. The Knicks just beat you. No, Pri- the Knicks, yeah. Prior to that, who was it? Milwaukee. So Milwaukee beat... So you lost to the Knicks. You lost to Milwaukee, then the Knicks. Yeah. You got two games left on the season. You going to approach it the same way. So you getting ready to roll into the playoffs. Let's assume they roll into the playoffs, Skip. Mm. Dr- hadn't dropped their last four games. Now you got 10 days off. So you didn't get no work in those four games that made sense at all because you didn't play worth the snuff. You dropped those four. 
Now you got 10 days of... But you're talking about a small sample size, Key. When we done went through the course of 82 games... But, but you built ended great on, habits. But you ended they, on a bad note. Yeah, but we built great habits that we know we can get back to. But So uh, you think they mindset, can get back to that on a bad yeah, note? Yeah, ending on, on a bad on your, note? Uh, because right now I'm telling you, and I promise you, they're like, we want to get to the playoffs healthy. Really, why are we playing these games? If Is someone it, gets hurt, it impacts everything. So why are they out there? It, it, I, why that's are they on the that, court? That's, 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 why are you going to put them on the court if you want to keep them healthy? You well, don't put them on the court, You want to keep them healthy, but at the same time, you don't want them to just be sitting around. And like I said, look how many days before the playoffs even start for them. You got the whole, you got next week, you got all playing games. So you've earned the right to just sit and just go to practice, lift weights, get some shots up. But at the same time, if you sat yesterday, which would have been Thursday, let's say they don't play again until next Sunday. That's a long, that's but a long stretch. Based on the way you played, you, you haven't done that. You haven't done that all year long. But you haven't done that all year long. A 10-day stretch of not playing. But PP, based on the way they've been playing, they should have been sitting. If that's the I case, I agree. I agree with you. They should be sitting. I if they're gonna play this way, you're going to you're limping you, into the playoffs. But you heard, well, coach. You, nobody's hurt, though. Nobody's hurt. Yeah. But you. You, you, you're, you're, you're out? psychologically, psychologically limping, in. limping yes, into the playoffs. I'm sure yeah. they're you, not psychologically limping in, talking about, oh, are we worried about the Knicks? Are, are, are we worried about okay. Milwaukee, who they've owned? Man, I hope they get smashed in the first round. Because <laughs> I'm a... By who? Whoever they play. I hope it's a disaster. <laughs> because I'm trying to explain to you that you're looking like you're getting ready to go 0-4 down the stretch, Skip, and you got a 10-day layout. a... What is that? What does that say? A 15 game, 13 game lead mean? on everybody. Okay. Mm. All right. Ooh, I hope y'all. Man, I hope that little lucky charm dude or whatever y'all call that little guy. I hope he got some magic for y'all. Because mm. if y'all lose, so the, if the y'all lose, game season don't matter what we built, the habits we built, and it all comes down to these last four games mm. that we're coasting and don't and meaningless games. But you out on, on the now. floor. Come on. Champions now. are champions. Get out on the floor. They don't. Mm. Champions that get out on the floor, and you know this because you was a mm. champion. You played in championship games. You won a world championship title. So what would be the difference if, yeah, they played and got blowed out, or they sat for the last three games? The difference is you and put they me... And still lost. But, but the difference is, coach, you put us on the court. If you put me on the court, I'm not going one to seven. I'm taking... When I'm on the court, I'm taking that serious. Paul, you they played... They settled for jump shots. You see, they didn't even get to the free throw line. Mm -mm. They didn't get to the free throw line versus Milwaukee, no, which was the all. game before. Because yeah. let's say happened, I drive the ball, turn my ankle with three games left. Okay. That's all I'm saying. You can they tell... They got to the free throw line tell. 16 times last yeah, night. But that's, that's team. Yeah, but when you go to the free throw line zero times, which tells me you're not You're not attacking. into it. No. You're not into it. Mm -hmm. Period. But they went all last right. night. They was into it. Because they're not going show. They suggest... 16 free throws. They're not really into it. All right. I'm... A, I, you play the NBA, I'm going to reserve my right to Come on. Uh, two weeks from now or three weeks from now when you're looking at me and going, damn, Key, All I right, didn't so, think that was going to happen. So both of you make one good point. One and, good point. Yeah, <laughs> and the one good point you're making is that you, you need to play the starters some. Some. Because yeah. to Paul's point, you, you can't have your starters not play basketball for 10 or 12 days. It right. could even be 12 days. Yeah. It's just too long, too long because the risk of that is you're going to blow game one at home in the first round of the playoffs. That's, I understand. Okay, you because, don't want them sitting around for three weeks. I right. got it. Okay, so the strategy clearly was we're going to play you guys against the two good teams left on our schedule. We're going to have a real live practice here because these, these teams are going to be coming at you, and we're going to play you 30 minutes a game for these two games, and yet – the starters said, okay, we'll do that, but they didn't actually do that. They yeah. just walked out there, and they, they weren't into either game because they trailed Milwaukee by as many as 24. And last night at home, they trailed the Knicks by as many as 31 points. Mm. That's embarrassing mm. because now to your point, there's pride involved of if you're that team and you've oh, got those dudes there, you know, you walk on the floor, you just say, we will do this. We're going to give you 30 for the first, good minutes. For the first two and a half quarters, I'm going to yeah. give you what I'm going to give you. And let's say, for instance, mm -hmm. for the first two and a half quarters, we playing like we need to play, and we're down by six or we're up by seven, and now we're done. If y'all want to lose by 30, we could. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you didn't give me none of that. I could have just stayed at home. Right. And, Keyshawn, to your point, Jason Tatum 
goes one of seven from three. You're a three-point shooting team, and so you're leaving a bad.